What can possibly go wrong? This is my song. I'll sing it now. What a speed! What a speed! Sparkling me, the truth is clear. I'll say it blue. Oh well. Well, chillin', welcome to the place. I'm a talking scrotum tree. I'm Jet, and this is my girlfriend, Glindy. Hiya. Oh, pardon me. This is our weird this genetic mutation of a dog. dog. Ay, 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 ay. I well, guess that was supposed wasted. to be a joke, Let's and I'm supposed to laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, babies. First things there first. It it's not your bubble I want to burst. I know waiting is a pain. I don't mean to be your bane. Without but could you just shut it, up no and pain. explain? Hmm. You think it's gonna rain? Whoa. What does that mean? It means... It means I'm higher than shit and I'm about to come shelter. down. A base of operations. A fluffy bed to rest your head. Well, maybe Quit this here thingy down, will help. Please. Oh my, oh me. You I must have you talked have to Link key. from, you know, Hyrule. Just slide the key inside my slot. A pretty key can tell a lot. Oh, oh what okay. The heck? Why not? <laughs> now it's all of a sudden like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> oh dear God, this became too sexual oh, for me. No Dude, not, not even dendrophiliacs this get this kind of pleasure from time. shit like Jake this. It, I guess we should introduce ourselves to our new roommate. Yeah. Sure, guess, why not? But I Let's see what kind of life. scumbags we have that refuse to wash the dishes. Please don't kiss me again. You're so delicious. Ugh, that's enough, Suavo. Ah, what is this? Why do you talk to Swabo in this way? Look, Why must you be animated? You Wh what the hell? You, but enough already, it's dripping from the walls here. Thank you, yes, the, the shit is dripping from the walls of this animation. I can't I even begin to describe all of this. Holy smokes! Oh, I hate you, yet I love you, yet I hate you! It's a love hate thing. Yeah, no, because it's a joke, too. because rate, she's never find a, a woman? Nixon's place. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. 311. That sounds like a great thing. Who'd that be? Uh, who, who do you think? think? Could it be someone Ring come again. original? You got to come original. Who are you? Hi, my name's Jet. I don't like you. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberry. Goodbye. Goodbye to you now. Thank you, okay. Well, what was that all about? Huh, now in our luck, it was probably some really cool roommates from some far off distant planet with a really weird pet. Because, you know, <laughs> that dude would just really? be a plot convenience. No, 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 no. He was a salesman of insincere greeting cards, so I... I'd like some insincere greeting cards. Ah. Can I get those? Um, excuse me, Mr. One-Eyed Man. Yeah. Can we I have your order, sir? We far off distant planet, and we brought our really weird pet. <gasps> She has two eyes. Well, actually, she has four, but I think I like these. I guess they don't want us. Maybe we should. Quite frankly, neither did Cartoon Network. That's why you're only a pilot. Greetings, mon amour. I am Suave. Also known as Le Rapos. The vacuum furnace of your plastic hair. I love the taste of plastic polyurethane. Turns me on. It's so beautiful. Let me lick you up and down. Now tell Squabble, what is your name, my pet? Cause I'm going to put a collar on you and dress you up as a kitty milk French maid. Ladies, French milk maid. Made of milk. French kitty. Ooh la la. Pussy. There, I got it out. Oh my god, is her belly button a black hole? Oh, I forgot all about Jet. You know, cause a new guy who actually has body form. <laughs> Why, I'm not a sailor lady. My name is I Jack. think she's talking to this the dog, Lookie. not wow. you. Oh, nice oculus. Say hello, Lucky. So. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's a laugh track now? You didn't have a laugh track the last 16 minutes. Now you're going to have a laugh track? Oh, God. Why do I feel this is about to go downhill quick? Uh. This is now turned into Pee Wee's Playhouse. You can see where Paul Rubens just had his influence here. Uh, 
Oh shit, the acid's just kicked in. Oh wow, dude, there's not enough drugs. It's your civic duty to get down and boogie. Sure, that's a thing people do. B-52s, I love you so much, Mr. Rock Lobster. And give me back my man. What? What is this? Of course there's gonna be a horse because we're Philly film riffs. Fuck, there's gonna be a horse. I just want to open every pore in my body and let it all soak in. Oh, I can do that, all right. With the shit I'm about to take. This place possibly get any better? What in blue blazing sun stars is that? The normals. The confrontation part, you know. Oh, these guys are normal. Oh, yeah, I guess they would be. They got square flat ass. They would have to be. Money. It's the man. No. Swabo. Huh? What? What? What's going on? Guys, you're scaring us. We're paying our taxes. Every hipster's got to pay their dues. You see, Nixon never paid his. This. <laughs> That's why he was not a crook. And now you get to pay his back taxes. All the Wait, how? The king of the normals. The king of the normals? What's his name? Your royal blandness? <laughs> no, Jeb Bush. It's Norman! King Norman! <laughs> oh, Jesus. It is Dennis Hopper, as he always envisioned himself to be. <laughs> Let me tell you, the reason you and your pathetic creativity exist is to feed my greed. You okay, just this is definitely getting strange in this well, territory that, that I don't think even children can follow, the Piper let alone boys. me. And it just so happens, you're looking at him. Well, gee, Mr. Piper, I... No! The name is Norman. King Norman! I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread, and I love the smell of napalm in the morning! Girls! <laughs> How would you know what a girl is around here? Makes me happy. It's where it's at. Money makes my world go round. This is the worst cover of Pink Floyd's money I've ever heard. Dennis Hopper really phoned this in. Cause he sure as fuck isn't what the hell is that? Why is it wearing a bikini? That would mean that it has genitals. I'll even tease it from you, money. but I'll never please it from you. Money really floats Yes. Out. Dennis Hopper is so phoning Yo, this in. AT&T called and said, Dude, quit what phoning it in so hard. You're making us look bad. Not that making AT&T oh, look bad yeah. is hard. <laughs> yeah, money. You know what? This this Sweet cartoon shouldn't be called The Gravinians. It should be called the Nightmare Fuel life. the Cartoon. Gee, Mr. Robot. No! You two still think you can have your jizzery cake and eat it too? Well, it seems a hot dose of cold hard reality is in order here. Oh and God, I think I'll more start with you. About this. <laughs> <laughs> here's bills. Oh, look. Here's a 1040 easy farm. <laughs> Wait until I show him the credit reports! I am. You big sticky poo robot man! Who robot man? Such strong words. Oh Jesus, another money shot. Okay. We've definitely hit some territory that is beyond Here, you can use a little color. No, 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 no! Oh dear god! I feel it now! Disco, disco jack. I almost feel emotions. This is fucked up. Too legit. Too legit to quit. 
You've escaped my greedy clutches this time, but I'll be back. Because the script told me that I'm going to be back, even though you'll never see it because this is a pilot. And your little dog, too. Oh, God. Did you have to rip that line off? Wow, Z. That's the end of that guy. He was grabbing our style. Thank God this is only a pilot and will never be seen from again. He said he'll be back, and he'll send us back to Jeepers. Well, you know, kids, these are the very kind of life perplexing issues every hipster's gotta face sooner or later. Stop it, Swirly. You're not helping. Yes, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. well, Look at me. You Use the dingle balls from my shirt well, to help you. Let's see, at Ravenia, 24 hours isn't until tomorrow. And tomorrow is another day! Here's wow, you should run for office, because okay. that's as political as you can get. Let's party! <laughs> I bring out the lines of Coke! Where the hell did they go? They just disappeared! Holy shit. Wow. I... Where? And this isn't helping me with the silhouettes. At all. At all. Holy shit. I... I'm still lost. Alright, just stop. Please, dear god, stop. Stop the damn thing. Okay, um, yeah, okay, okay, I'm coming off the high, slowly, I'm coming off the high, I'm gonna make it, can, can I, can I feel my hands, okay, I can feel my hands, I can feel my face, cool, oh man, I should shave, all right, <clears throat> All right, now that I've come down from the huge drug-induced high that I just had, thanks to this cartoon, <sighs> let's break it down, shall we? <clears throat> what the flying fuck did I just watch? I have seen a lot of shit doing this series. A lot of shit. But I have no clue what the hell this was. Again, I'm going to bring up the Germans. At least the Germans were cheap cash-ins. This shit, I don't even want it. Like, the dude who ever created this has some severe issues that I think need to be addressed. Number one, and I do agree with it to a point, but it just comes off as so ham-fisted and pretentious, I want to shoot him in the face, this creator. Um, there is a line uh, that about art and money and drudgery, which is kind of what's going on in that planet that those morons are from, right? But uh, there is a balance that you need to have. Uh, many of you may know that I go after my PhD, like I'm about to get it, and I read a lot of theory and shit, and so there's this dude from Germany named Theodore Adorno. Put up a picture of his great-looking face. Okay, this dude came up with some theories about art and how art liberates us, which I get that's probably what the dude's going for uh, in the first part with the dancing flower bullshit, which is really avant-garde as far as I'm concerned. Uh, actually, avant-garde's still more abstract than whatever that bullshit was, but this is some surreal shit. But, you know, if you just look at how it all ties into each other, like art according to Adorno, is supposed to be this liberating thing that makes you think. Whereas anything fueled by capitalism, like, you know, the parents are all about and shit, um, it sort of keeps you in this drudgery, only it's masked sort of thing. It's kind of complicated. I don't want to get into it too much. I, I think that's the point he's going for. I kind of applaud it. But with this, I can't. The Amiga graphics just kill it because it doesn't hold up at all. I mean, this literally looks like stop motion CG. And I can't even begin to just fathom what the fuck. Like, it's 2002 when this came out. Even fucking Reboot, which came out 10 years prior, looks way better than this. Even Beast Wars, which was 5 years before this, looks Leagues above this. 
in terms of aesthetics, better than... <sighs> it's... It's just a train wreck. And I have to applaud Cartoon Network for actually sticking to some guns and saying no. Because this is terrible. I mean, their decisions after this have all fallen to shit, but... This was a smart decision on their part to not allow this to be aired because, like, shit just didn't make sense. Like, the laugh track all of a sudden shows up. And I can already tell what the main budget of this this cartoon was blown on. It was getting the B-52s to sing the, the theme song, which they are a talented group of individuals. I do like their music. And to get RuPaul, Paul Rubens, and Dennis Hopper to be the voices. That's where all the money went in this show. That's that's it. They blew their their twenty dollars on that, and you know the last three dollars that they had went to animation, as you can clearly tell. And they thought CG was the thing because everybody thinks CG is the thing when it's clearly not. And this is what you get. I don't know. Oh lordy. Next time on Philly Film Games. Hopefully nothing so fucking ham-fisted about bullshit like this was. Ugh. Whatever. Wave bye-bye to the non-reacting horse. She did her job. She didn't react either. Not as bad as I did. Ugh. So until next time, kids. Toodles. Well, wasn't that a wonderful piece of tripe? of cartoon history that you'll never be able to unsee. I know I had fun. Anywho, uh, if you like that sort of thing and you want to see more of it, uh, you can check me out over here at Horse Moment Media for more stuff that I do because I do lots more other stuff, including making plushies. Oh, and I have a Let's Play called Philly Film Games because I'm that creative when it comes to titles. So, you know, click on this video over here, and you can check me out. Hell, if you like it, you can subscribe. That would be cool. It's me and my friend Urk just being, you know, twits, and it's fun, I guess, for somebody. I don't know. It's just our way of getting our stress out for the week. Because life stresses us out! And, uh, yeah. If you want to do more stuff, I got stuff on Patreon and Facebook that you could uh, check out. That would be really cool. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Oh, and by the way, next week there will not be a video because of MAGFest. I'm going. So if you see me there, not that you know what I look like, say hi. Because I'll be like, oh my god, a fan. I need to get out of here now. I don't react well to fans. All right, bye.